everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shrink Wrapped. This is the DVD Blu-ray Hall show. I give away some digital codes on here. I talk to you guys about what I grabbed this month and we share our love of physical media. And before anything we do this month, we're going to announce the winners from last month's giveaway. Which was actually really, really easy because everybody that won picked something different, so there really wasn't a contest in this one. Sean Jones, sir, you are the winner of the Hereditary Digital Code. Let me know the best way to get that to you, whether that be you know, some social media, DMs, or email, what have you. Just let me know. No stranger to digital codes, this one. LC Screen Talk, you won the digital codes for Phantom Thread and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I'm pretty sure we know how to get those codes to you. And then, last but certainly not least, this is a fan of the show. He asked me, he's like, Daniel, have you picked the winners? And I said, motherfucker, it'll be out in a week. So, MCU Movies fan, congratulations, sir, you have copped yourself a copy of The Nightmare Before Christmas on digital. Like I said with Sean and Larry, please let me know how to get those codes to you. I use Twitter a lot, so if you have Twitter, go ahead and leave me your handle, and I'll be able to get those code, that code to you really, really quick. For those of you who have won... Remember, you are not eligible for this month's haul. I want to give everybody an opportunity to win a digital code. So, for Sean, Larry, and MCU Movies fan, remember, you can be eligible to win another code in November. And trust me, November is going to be a crazy-ass haul. Because of the parameters I set up for this month, I missed out on a lot of stuff I really, really wanted to get. So, y'all have opportunities to grab some cool shit then. But, let's move on. Let's talk about this month. Which is the Halloween. <laughs> <coughs> that hurt. This entire month I decided to beef up my horror movie library and just go from there. So, let's not waste any time. With Friday the 13th, Part 3, 3D. I don't have a 3D TV, so I don't think this is going to work, and this only has the disc in it, so I don't even have the cool little red and blue. But Friday the 13th is a series I haven't any of the movies of, but I don't really like all the movies, so I'm thinking of just grabbing the first one, 3D, Final Chapter, and Jason Lives. And I think Britney has Jason X in there. I still haven't seen Jason Goes to Hell. And this is fucked up. Netflix had 1 through 4, and then 6, 7, and 8. I had to go to Amazon to watch number 5, but then when I finally got through all 8, Jason Goes to Hell wasn't available on any streaming service without rental, so I'm waiting for that movie to pop up before I, like, spend money on it, especially since I hear it's terrible. The next one, I'm doing double duty on holidays here. Silent Night, Deadly Night. After hearing so much about this movie, I had to cop this for myself. This is one that I'm going to be watching come Christmas time. I don't, I don't know, you might see this pop up later in Christmas if we decide to review it for something on Half Cocked. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm excited to check this out. This movie is the last one I got this month. It kind of just popped off the shelf for me. Baby Blues. I've never seen this before. It's a Chinese horror movie about a woman who's pregnant with twins. She loses one of the twins and then thinks that the spirit of that twin is kind of possessed by a... Uh, possesses a doll. And I don't know why the look of the doll here is kind of freaky. and I don't know if this is any good or not, but I was intrigued enough by the cover and the actual design of the doll that I was like, ah, oh, this... You know, it wasn't a lot of money, so I figure I could check this one out and be okay. Now, this next one is one that means so much to me. Well, not so much, but enough to me. The ABC's Death. As soon as I heard that this was a concept, I'm like, wow, this is a great idea. 26 shorts, 26 directors, all about death with each letter of the alphabet. This collection is not always a hit, but... 
it's varied enough and it's weird enough and it's gory enough that it like satisfies every weirdo horror bone that I love. Also have some great date memories to this movie. Uh, it's a good time. By the way, if you're going to watch F or X, it gets wild. For this movie, it was really tough to find a DVD where the cover looked okay and it wasn't like torn up or it wasn't a slip cover. And uh, I know a lot of people like slip covers, but I really don't. Hellraiser. Hellraiser. I loved it. It's dark. I don't really like the sequels. Not even two. I know a lot of people like two, but I just couldn't get into it. But the original Hellraiser is a movie I love. It has one of my favorite deaths of all time. <laughs> I wish I would have gotten something a little glossier, but everything that was glossier was like $25, and I'm like, eh, nah. I like this movie. I don't love this movie. Another movie I haven't watched, but I'm surprised I haven't, The Invisible Man. I don't own many of the Universal Studios classic monsters, like Dracula, Frankenstein. I love the whole old-school uh, cover of the front. Scream 1 through 4. I really like Scream. And I remember watching Scream 4 in theaters. That was actually a fun time. You can't have, like, a horror degree unless you graduated with these credits, you know? Next one is something that Brittany wanted me to get. And we're probably going to watch either this weekend or later down the line. Frank and Weenie. I've never seen it. The only thing I know about this one is the trilogy theory that, you know, the boy in this one and the dog follow each other through Corpse Bride and... The Nightmare Before Christmas, but I've heard it's dark, I've heard it's funny, and I've heard it's cute. So, we're gonna go check that out. Oh, ding, ding, ding! Look at that! We got our first digital code opportunity, and this is for a movie that is mixed, but personally, I kind of have grown to love. Happy Death Day. <laughs> this is a movie where the trailer looked, just the concept was the stupidest thing I'd ever heard in my life. And yet, when I did see the movie, I was sold. And I was sold by Jethico, Jessica... Jessica... <laughs> I was sold by Jessica Roth's performance. I thought she had so much charisma. Had enough of a range that you were like, wow, you could really see her doing multiple roles. And this movie was single-handedly responsible for getting me to declare that I think Jessica Roth will be the next big actress. The same way I saw 21 and over, and I thought, that Miles Teller kid, he's got something. I think that this chick is amazing. She really just kind of comes to life off the screen. You really like her. She's bubbly, but she can be a badass. It's really a goofy movie, and the horror stuff doesn't necessarily work, but it's like a tongue-in-cheek kind of thing. I don't know. I had a decent time with it. And I think you guys might, too, if you decide to go for this digital code. Oh, it's the 40th anniversary of Halloween this year, Halloween 1978. We're doing the Halloween after credits. I'm actually editing that, but this one will be out before that. So, because I haven't seen any of the sequels, I decided to go for the best of the sequels, I, some people say, with Halloween 2 and Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I'm a little concerned with how Halloween 2... I, I know enough about Halloween 2 to know how it addresses Michael Myers. And Halloween 3 is a completely different story, and it looks weird and crazy as shit. So I'm down for both of these. I know the BS Review hates Halloween 3. Uh, oh, I'll see what happens with this one. But, you know, it, it might be alright. It might be alright. Oh, this next one is a preteen classic for me. I love it so much. Arachnophobia. It's one of those movies that when you talk to your dad about like, hey, what good horror movies are out there? And he goes, eh, just put Arachnophobia on your Netflix queue. And I saw it, and it just, it, it struck me. It was so wild. But at the same time, I think the beginning scene where that dude gets that big-ass tarantula through the leg and it like bites his nutsack. It, to a preteen, that was the most horrifying thing that I'd ever seen. It was one of the ballsiest things I'd ever seen.
It's a lot of fun. It's creepy if you hate spiders. If you don't hate spiders and you love them kind of like me, you're just going to have a lot of fun seeing the crazy shit that goes down. So I've been looking for a copy of this particular movie that wasn't just the kind of standard Walmart, you know, $5 cover. And I thought this one was actually really funny and kind of fit. This is the director's cut of Army of Darkness, aka Bruce Campbell versus Army of Darkness. It gives you like a little note from Bruce in the back. It looks like a bootleg. It's kind of like that one System of a Down album. It was so kind of shoddy and hap and haphazardly made that I thought, eh, this is this fits the kind of movie. I still haven't seen Army of Darkness. As much as I love Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, I have not seen this movie yet because I was waiting for a good copy. So, I got this now. I love Jamie Lee Curtis, so it seems appropriate. Prom Night, the original. Leslie Niels is in this one. Self-explanatory, kind of like a horror movie classic. You gotta, you know, cut your teeth, watch it, all this shit. So, yeah, good stuff. Speaking of filling out my horror movie portfolio, not a lot of great werewolf movies pop up the head. You've maybe got some stuff like, you know, American Werewolf in London, The Original Wolfman, and Ginger Snaps is kind of a, like a newer classic. I like the Wolfman remake. I think I, at least I think I liked it. I watched it in theaters. But, The Howling often pops up on this. And I've seen some clips of this. It looks really gnarly. And I'm actually really, really excited to check this one out. I really want more good werewolf movies. To all my YouTube friends, I've heard this movie discussed so many times. People say it's one of the scariest movies they've ever seen. And I figured, fuck it, I'm gonna bite the bullet. Yes, Brittany, I got it. The Descent. Heard this movie's just claustrophobic and fucking creepy as hell. And I don't know much else about it. So I'm gonna watch it, and I'm gonna see if it's really, really good. Or if you people are all full of shit. Oh, but something that I recommend, this is a this is a stone-cold classic for me. The original Omen with Gregory motherfucking Atticus Finch Peck. It's one of, like, the creepier uh, devil, demon kind of movies just because it's treated so matter-of-fact. And I know some people will talk about, like, The Rock crushing the guy or... Uh, some other some of the death scenes in this movie, but for me the death scene that nails it is the one where the nanny like hangs herself and she's like, "Look at me, Damien. It's all for you." It stuck with me so long, and the way the kid plays this, where it's not too like scary movie kid, but the kid's definitely like out there and fucking weird. It made me believe that the devil could impregnate a lady, make a kid, and then lead him to be the Antichrist. But yeah, The Omens. Fucking fantastic movie. We're almost done with this video. I was talking about Universal Studios earlier, how I don't have many of them. And this is the next one that I have, The Mummy. I almost grabbed the 8 movie uh, disc collection of Frankenstein, but it was like super expensive, so I didn't quite bite the bullet on it yet, though I feel like I like a lot of those movies. If I could get like an original poster or an original print of this, I would just frame it in my house, like on the ceiling or something. And last, but definitely not least, is our second digital code that I'm giving away. That's right, there's only two in this video, but I feel like this one's a good one, a new one, a recent one, A Quiet Place. I saw it again when I was on vacation with my in-laws, and I, a lot of the nitpicks that I originally had for this movie kind of went out the window, because I got to focus more on the production design, the sound design, the way the characters reveal stuff about themselves with little nuggets. It's not quite delivered to you in exposition, but I really enjoyed how this story flows. I love people like Millicent Simmons. She popped out to me as a really strong performance in this film. The way this movie is crafted is a lesson in filmmaking, and it's something that you really shouldn't take for granted. Even if you're not totally scared or, like, you know, hiding under the bed with nightmares because of this one, this is just a well-made drama. 
a damn well made drama and I definitely recommend you enter yourself in for this code. So for this month we got two digital codes. Remember, I got a quiet place and happy death day. If you want to sign up to enter the contest, we're gonna roll you in the random number generator giveaway, whatever. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, but remember, make your subscription public. You can do this if you click on your channel, the little uh, channel head at the top right, scroll down to settings, likes and privacy, and while you're there, make sure to click and undo the whole keep your subscriptions private. That way I can see that you're actually subscribed to the channel. You know, comment and let me know which one you want to be entered for, of course. And that should be it. So, remember, subscribe, make it public, comment. Like I said before, if you win either A Quiet Place or Happy Death Day, you're not going to be eligible for that next month's haul. So keep that in mind. Like I said to the winners, just let me know the best way to DM those codes to you, and I will be able to do so as soon as possible. So, thank you all very, very much for watching this episode of Shrink Wrapped. If you like this, like the video, subscribe, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All the grams. All the Twitters. I know. Let me know what you guys grabbed this month. I really want to see what kind of horror-related shit y'all grabbed. And so for the third time, I thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. I'm rambling. Take care. <laughs>